Slack, a popular team collaboration and communication platform, has experienced significant growth since its launch in 2013. However, the company's journey to success was not a straightforward one. Slack's pivot from being a gaming company to a communication platform was a critical turning point in its history. Hi everyone. Today in this case study, we will explore how Slack utilized network analysis to identify new opportunities, make informed decisions, and ultimately transform its business. So let's start with a brief background on Slack. So Slack was initially developed as an internal communication tool for Tiny Spec, which was a gaming company founded by Stuart Butterfield. The team was working on developing a multiplayer online game called Glitch, but the game in itself failed to gain traction and eventually it had to be shut down. But recognizing the potential of their internal communication tool, the team decided to pivot away from the gaming company and focus on developing Slack as a standalone product in itself. Okay, now for those of you hearing the phrase network analysis for the first time, it is a branch of computer science that studies the structure and behavior of networks, which are basically a collection of different nodes or vertices connected by links or edges between them. So networks can represent various types of systems, like the most popular ones, which most people may be knowing social networks to transportation networks to biological networks and the like. And by analyzing the structure and properties of these networks, one can discover and decipher trends, insights, patterns that would otherwise not have been obvious. Okay, so now let's see how Slack utilized network analysis. So number one in identifying market opportunities. To identify potential market opportunities, Slack's product management team did a thorough analysis of the collaboration and communication software landscape. They mapped out the relationships between various tools such as email, instant messaging, and even project management tools that were being used by users and how users were interacting with all of these platforms. They did a mapping between all of these. And their analysis revealed that many teams were using multiple tools to communicate and collaborate, and there was no centralized platform, leading to fragmented workflows and many inefficiencies. So Slack saw a gap here and an opportunity to create a centralized platform that would streamline team communication and collaboration. And remember, this was many years back at a time when Microsoft Teams did not have all the features that it has today. So Slack was one of the only companies doing it at the time. Number two, they pursued strategic positioning. Slack's product management team used network analysis to identify key players in the market and understand their strengths and weaknesses. And by analyzing the competitive landscape, they were able to position Slack as a unique solution that bridged the gap between what was already existing and offered a more seamless user experience. Number three, Slack's product team used network analysis to even inform their product development process. So how did they do that? They analyzed user behavior data to understand areas for improvement. And this data-driven approach from the very beginning allowed them to prioritize features and enhancements that would have the most impact on user satisfaction and productivity. Number four, building a strong ecosystem. Network analysis also played a very crucial role in helping Slack build a robust ecosystem of integrations and partnerships. By understanding the relationships between various tools and platforms, Slack was able to identify key partners and develop integrations that would further enhance the user experience and drive platform adaption for Slack. And the final point, number five, monitoring and adapting to market changes. So as the market evolved, Slack's product management team continued to use network analysis to monitor trends and identify key threat areas and emerging opportunities. So this proactive approach enabled them to stay ahead of the competition and adapt their product strategy as needed. So as a result, Slack's pivot informed by network analysis proved to be a complete game changer for the company. 
the platform quickly gained traction attracting millions of users and became a go to solution for team communication and collaboration so the key takeaways that we can take away from slack's case study is how network analysis can be used in other product organizations as well to number 1 identify market opportunities and gaps in the competitive landscape number 2 to make data driven decisions to utilize and prioritize enhancements and features number 3 to build strong ecosystems through strategic partnerships and integrations number 4 to monitor and adapt to market changes to scale. i have also i'll also be attaching a link in the description to my blog where i have compared the features that slack has versus its current competitors in the industry and that's all for today if you like the video please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in the next video thank you